Lilium recently unveiled a mock-up for the Evatol aircraft it plans to bring to market in just a few years from now. For the first time, we've been able to have a glimpse at what it could be like to ride around in the new electric aircraft that will operate in different ways beyond the scope of existing fixed-wing aircraft and helicopters. So we started from an inside-out approach. So we really thought about the space for the customer first. So central design approach, customer in the middle, and then designing around the full panoramic views and the, the wall embracing interior surfaces. So you don't get like that sense of claustrophobia, let's say, coming from the helicopters or from the boxy shapes or for, from the tubular, very straight, hard, stuck, you know, typical of the jet architecture. So, it's gonna be a new way to travel, so as a new experience. We got a refined to the millimeters, actually the packaging together with our engineers to come up with something that is very, very valuable in terms of aerodynamic, very, very, let's say, generous in terms of space inside while keeping enough space also for our technical components. Again, the starting point was a customer. So we left enough space, not just for the forklift, the VIP configuration that you see here, but even for the future six shuttle configuration. You got access to the luggage compartment in the back of the cabin, and there is a space for four carry-on luggages in the first entry products. Obviously, when we will scale to the six shuttle, we will get another two luggage in the same compartment. Together with that, we will have other storage areas around the cabin. So either in the entrance, where you can basically place your small bags or your umbrella, whatever you want to have, out of, let's say, your lounge area, but also in the side pockets, uh, displays basically between the seats. You will get generous pockets for your bottles, for your magazines, your laptops, and uh, your small bags. Lilium's design team had to accommodate all aspects of the propulsion system, including critically the batteries that essentially replace the fuel tanks in a fossil fuel powered aircraft. Batteries are located on the side, so basically you will get access to the batteries actually through, through the side. So it will be like uh, five main panels. And, uh, and yeah, it's actually a nice combination of, uh, of uh, beauty and tech. To operate and be accepted in urban environments, aircraft noise is clearly a critical factor for the new Evatol vehicles. Outside, we're talking about 68 dB at 100 meters when it's taking off. So actually where you would like, like the, the most uh, of the noise coming from the spinning, full spin engines. Whereas actually where it would be already in, uh, in the transition phase, climbing to the cruise mode is not going to be audible anymore. Inside, we are still working on the sound and we can guarantee that the passenger won't have to wear the headset. So we'll have a headset free cabin and we will have a robust, let's say, passive isolation of the cabin. And with Evatol manufacturers expecting to deliver thousands of the new aircraft, some in the industry wonder how sufficient numbers of pilots will be available to support the new business. Even the cockpits will offer great visibility for the pilots. It's going to be great for them of operations and uh, it's a quite unique architecture. So you use a fully symmetric, it's going to be extremely intuitive, extremely good for ergonomic and for flight operations. 